Um, welcome. So uh, today we're going to be listening to uh, Dr. Weijun Shi. He's an assistant professor of industrial and systems engineering uh, here at Virginia Tech. He obtained his PhD from Georgia Tech, uh, master's from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and BS from Tsinghua University. Um, his research interests lie in robust optimization, stochastic programming, integer programming, approximation algorithms, and applications in machine learning and system design. His work has won awards including INFORMS uh, Optimization Prize for Young Researchers, INFORMS Junior Faculty Interest Group Paper Competition, INFORMS uh, George Nicholson Student Paper Competition, and he appears in journals including Operations Research, Informs Journal of Computing, Mathematical Programming, Mathematics of Operation Research, and Machine Learning Conferences. Thank you, Missy, for the nice introduction. And uh, and this uh, this topic is also related to computer science. So, and uh, you know, we are doing machine learning, you know, special case of computer science. Okay, so, <clears throat> So uh, as introduced to this talk about uh, the topic about the data selection for fair classification, and we are focusing on you know uh, representation and the, the develop some algorithm. So this is my uh, the John works with my PhD students Ching, Ching Ye. So she uh, she started this project while she was uh, junior students, undergrad students, but now she's become PhD student. So she's doing uh, very well in this project. So why we care about this is, you know, mainly because, as we can see, a long time ago, so like machine learning, artificial intelligence, now is, you know, it's everywhere, and you know, everybody is talking about that. So on the other hand, you can see, you know, the machine learning, you know, this is essentially a black box tool, or it's kind of, you know, more like a, a tool. So, so these mach those things, you know, if you uh, uh, feed them, you know, the wrong data, or you know, if the data has some biases, then the results tend to be biased as well. And even you know the data is pretty much uh, is pretty much not biased, but it, because of machine learning, you know, t the, they, they usually they cannot tell you know, for example, gender. They cannot also tell you know uh, different gr ethnic groups or race. So in that case, they can also be biased. So now let me, let me introduce you several examples. And the first one is you know from this uh, this is uh, this, uh, this is uh, uh, 2017. That's the news. So this is uh, keep on going. So it's com we know the the compass. That's a correlational offender management profiling for alternative uh, sanctions. So that's essentially the the well known and the well established uh, software for to predict the uh, recidivists. So now there's two uh, person. You know uh, one is a. Uh, one is uh, Bernard Parker, another one is Dylan Fugit. So you can see that the uh, Bernard, you know, he they have similar uh, historic historical history of you know crime. So you can see that then the machinery uh, to can to predict you know which one has a uh, is more risk. Right? So you can see this high this uh, Bernard has a very high risk risk marked by this this software and and. Uh, and the delay is not is a low risk, and the consequence here, you know, you can see, <clears throat> Bernard turns out, you know, he become a good citizen, so he don't have any subsequent offen offenses, which means the pre machine prediction is pretty wrong. But on the other hand, right, the other one, you know, has a, has three uh, subsequent offenses. So this is not the only case. So in this uh, 2018, uh, this has been reported by the Pittsburgh's data. So say that uh, the Poor family, you know, because of you know middle or high upper class families, they have the pre, uh, privilege to choose a, a private health provider. So, which they tend to, you know, uh, turns out you know tend to hide a lot more information about you know child abuse. So then the machine learning algorithm, because they don't know anything about this, just learn from data. So then this has turns out that the result is very against the poor family. They, so they essentially, they, once you child from poor family, they mark them, they, they somehow mark them to be, you know, uh, be, be, being child abused somehow. So that's really unfair to the poor family. So, you know, as, as many of you might also interested, you know, to work in the IT industry. So, 
So now, uh, you know, Amazon also so some IT companies they are trying to uh, you know, for, right, screening do screening using the machine learning hours, right? This is so this is a natural language processing or some machine learning hours going on there. So <clears throat> what's going on there is you know because historical reason or his you know the um, there are ma many male uh, there are many male uh, employees right um, in those industry. And they learn their resume from, from the history, so which means uh, historical data right, is already biased because they have so many male employees and they learn their resume. So they, they, what's, the re, what's, the re, what's the result is uh, because they, this, uh, this result, the learning, the training results is already biased, so they essentially they just downgraded, down, downgraded the, the female graduate as a, uh, somehow, so which means it's uh, so you no, know, we, we might have a lot of wonderful female uh, in applicants, but they, the, the, the machine, you know, they, they once, once they see this women or you know in this in this uh, training procedure, they just downgrade those women uh, women uh, resume. So that's not fair to the to the to the females. Okay. So as you can see, like the fairness. Uh, uh, is quite important now, for, right? You can see this. So these things is going keep on going. So there are tons of examples. Here. If you just Google it, you will see a lot of examples now uh, coming up. So the reason is uh, uh, we are now trying to be more intelligent. You know, using this uh, kind of uh, machine learning algorithms or data driven decision making approaches. And the traditional ones, you know, this is classification model. Especially we are talking about classification model, and we can. Go beyond that, so uh, the classification models they, they, use, they can cause bias, you know, for this sensitive feature, for example, gender, race, even for poverty, at different income levels. So, so then you know, <clears throat> these so without addressing this, you know, we cannot, you know, you sometimes right, this is essentially the, this bias, this uh, due to you know the training or due to the data set or due to the inherent the, the, the results so this is a result uh, quite quite a big issue right it can also uh, you know do a lot of damage to the to the entire society so <clears throat> what do we do is we're trying to incorporate this kind of fairness into the machine learning model and make this machine learning more intelligent and more fair so you might come up with some fairness measure in your mind so suppose you know <clears throat> So, so I will introduce uh, you briefly. You know the three fairness measures uh, we widely used in 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 academia. So uh, the first one is called overall misclassification rate. Okay. So suppose you know we are focusing on classification, which means we are focusing on we are predict. There's two labels, which is positive and negative. Okay. So there's only two outcome. And now we have suppose we have two groups like female, male, or some other groups. Mm -hmm. So there's two groups we are care about. So this can be multiple group, but this two group is easier to 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 do illustration here. So the OMR here is uh, we do we treat this we we calculate the absolute difference of the misclassification rate. For example, on this uh, left hand side group, we got. Uh, 10, uh, 10 data here, and we have got another 10 data for the right hand side group. So, the left hand side group, we do, uh, you know, we calculate this wrong, wrong prediction. So, now we change the model and we have, you know, five, five, five data points have been wrong predicted. So, now we calculate that. So, we have five over 10. So, this is five here. And for the right group, you can see that for label for the positive label, we, we, we make two mistakes. For the uh, negative label, we make three mistakes. So we have also five over ten. So in that case, the the <clears throat> our own miscalculation rate is just you know compute all this uh, miscalculation results and divide by total population in one particular group and minus another group. Then if this number is zero, which means the, the algorithm is fair. Otherwise, it's not fair. So this so you might you know. You might be wondering, right? This is might not be very uh, accurate because it might not be, you know, serve the purpose because you know you you might want to focus in on only party label. So why party label is more important? For example, you think about this. You you want to the admission system, right? You want to admit to the to the to the system. So you really care about you know uh, when when we are going to admit those those folks. Okay. So so then this then we focus on this called uh, demographic parity. 
which means the prediction should be independent of sensitive feature. So we focus on the, uh, the you know, the, those labels will be, will be predicted to be uh, admitted. Okay. So, so for this, uh, you know, for this group, the left-hand side group, we have three, uh, which, you know, so this uh, green one means uh, they are they are supposed to be predicted. So we train the model, right? They are supposed to be uh, predicted and they are supposed to be ad admitted. But now our machine learning model says they should be admitted. So now we so we are doing the right thing. But this uh, no no this 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 guy you know it's a little bit of misfortune. So we we did not uh, predict him to be or her to be admitted. And for the other three of them, you know, they are not supposed to be admitted, but we we admitted them. Okay, so that's the machine learning results. So now how many do we have? We have six uh, among 10, 10 uh, six among 10, you know, we admitted them. Okay, so that's essentially uh, for this group, we admitted six, uh, we, pre we admitted six among 10 of them. Okay, so for this group, you can see uh, there, are four, four, uh, there are four guys, you know, we pre they are supposed to be Admitted and we, we predict our machine learning model also say this should be pre this should be admitted. So now we admit six, four of them, and there are two misfortune guys. You know they should be admitted, but we didn't. We make a mistake. And on the other hand, right there's also four two of them. Uh, we're supposed to admit those folks, but now we make a mistake. So which means we ad admit them as well. So in this case, we can see for the first group, we admit six. Uh, you know, students or guys, right? So, or and for the other group, we admit the, the other six. So now, uh, six over ten and six over ten. Then this for this for this particular example, the demographic parity is equal to zero. So there's another uh, fairness measure. It's called equal opportunity. So this is the prediction, which says that the prediction should be independent of sensitive features. Uh, when the positive label is positive, so which means, uh, so for these ones, right, they are supposed to uh, these these folks, they are supposed to be admitted. We we also need to make sure, right, and we don't make mistake too much mistake for those folks, and and similarly, right, for this for them, these are female group, for those female group, uh, so uh, we have four of them should should supposed to be admitted, and then we should not make too much mistake. Compared to male, right? We suppose we have six six of them. They should be admitted, but then we we need to we supposed to you know admit six of them, and we don't want to make too many too many mistake to to admit for the admission uh, procedure. So this is essentially you know uh, because we uh, we have there are four of them should be admitted, but we admitted three. So this is three over four, and for this group. Uh, we are supposed to admit six, but now we make um, we make two mistakes. So which means we admit four of them. So now the uh, equal opportunity we define like follows. So three over four minus six of four of six, which equal to point you know roughly point oh eight. So in this case, this with the fairness measure is uh, is here is equal to is a uh, positive. You know? So it's not very fair, but that's maybe the best way we can do. Okay, so. So that's essentially the introduction of fairness. You, you know, you, maybe you can also come up with some other fairness measure, so which is important, and uh, you can you can define your own fairness measure. So, in that case, you uh, you can uh, you can uh, incorporate this uh, fairness measure to the machine learning algorithm. So it's called a fair classification fr framework. So uh, what do we do here is you know uh, we just uh, get a high level idea and uh, and then I will pass to the to the numerical results. So the high level idea is uh, uh, we gener our framework is as follows. So now we have this uh, this is called you know coefficient outcome. So which means that's a vanilla one. So you know all, all the uh, classification models, uh, black box, or you know you name the name your favorite one. So we can put this like this framework. You know. So you can choose one of them, and this is a regularization. This is essentially along with this classification. So we always have a regularization term there. So the regularization essentially help us to robustify uh, of of the outcome, which means if data is noisy, then this regularization essentially help us to 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 reinforce the the the, the machine learning results. 
And then we also add this fairness measure. That's, that's what we uh, would like to incorporate in the model. Okay, so this is, uh, this is Z here, Z variable essentially is how we can compute the, uh, the fairness. And then this framework is pretty much general, so we can you know, incorporate different classification models or like a, a neural network or you know, deep learning here. And we can also you know, incorporate different fairness measures we just mentioned before, you know, or, 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 or a misclassification rate or demogra demographic parity or, you know, or equal opportunity measures. So all, either one can be incorporated here. So the different from the existing work. So for this research, essentially, we say we show that you know uh, existing ones are trying to approximate this function using different form, but we just uh, we want to precisely using the what the notion there, and then we show that we can also do a much better job if we uh, compare to the literature. So how we do that? <clears throat> so essentially, you know, we can. This is the first one. We can you know model those kind of fairness things uh, into this model. So now let's introduce a little bit for support my machine. So for the sake of time, so uh, so we 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 will, we will you know uh, introduce. We will focus on more on this support my machine, but you know our model is more general. So this support machine because it's widely used and it's kind of uh, more illustrative. So here, right, just some term uh, notation here. We use this XI the data. So we just got you know this is the the the. The, the x tilde, which is the, uh, the, the, the random variable or the data generation we call predictor, just some uh, terminology. And a y tilde, is a, so which is a one, a one a realization is y i here is just the label. We have minus one part, part of one, you know, or zero one. And uh, w and b is also a classifier or a parameter. So we, we trying to train this, this w and b, those are uh, the classifier or parameters. And this is UI essentially is the margin and the misclassification margin. So uh, we want to minimize this minimize the classification margin as, as much as we can. And lambda is a tuning parameter. So this framework is very much natural. So you know, you have two groups. And how can you separate those two groups? So you want to find a line on this, on this you know, two-dimensional two, two uh, figure. You want to separate those two groups as much as we can. So, so then you know if then you you can choose those these dash lines, but those dash lines are not robust because if your data is noisy, so you 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 are going to make make mistake. But now this this regularization term help us to you know to find the solid line which can separate those two groups as much as we can. So now uh, in this framework, you know, as a realization of the general framework the slides I go, so we are trying to add this uh, this additional uh, and uh, or penalty term or regularization term to, to, to indicate the uh, fairness measure. Okay? So this can help us to predict, uh, prevent the discrimination of, um, against uh, some groups. Okay? And uh, this, is, this framework is trying to you know, balance the prediction accuracy and fairness. So here, you know, if you choose uh, this, uh, this uh, role, which is uh, a penalty factor, if there's no penalty, so we focus on, you know, the accuracy is most important, and then if we choose this as a, the penalty very large, then we are more focusing on fairness. So in that case, we might sacrifice the accuracy. So a proper one which uh, can balance both in a nicer way. Okay. So now this is an illustration how uh, how things work. So using this framework, what we are doing is uh, look. This is the original one. So that's a vanilla classification we can have. So we can you know separate these two groups with uh, with this line. And then this gives us 80% uh, accuracy. And what are we proposing? We, uh, you know, we use uh, we drop some data points. Okay. So these these in this framework, we trying to you know be selective. So we select the most representative data set, which is uh, inside of this uh, the previous framework. So when we select this uh, uh, the most representative data set, we are trying to rotate the line by 90 degrees. And become this a dash line, and dash line is what we proposed. So now let's see what that happened. So by selecting uh, the most relevant data set, then we are able to to find out this uh, dash line. And in that dash line, the accuracy still the same, which is eighty percent. You know, still a good, uh, quite a good results. But now let's compute the uh, fairness measure here. 
you know, this this unfairness drops from twenty percent to five uh, to zero percent. So there's no fair, fairness issue at all for this uh, dash line. So that's what we for our framework works, and uh, and uh, and uh, hopefully this uh, illustrates uh, a little bit about uh, you know why this is uh, our framework is so powerful. So I think uh, for the, since we don't have too much time here, so I go this quickly. So uh, how can we solve it, right? So you know, as a machine learning, you know, we need to propose an algorithm and then implement using a computational code and then solve it. So the solution is very simple. So we do this kind of iterative uh, fashion. So which means we do the training first. So uh, this is a training. You know, uh, you know, you select some data. Uh, from the original data set, you know, you have 100 data set, you select 80, 80 of them, which are mostly representative. Then you, 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 you train them, and, and then you got, you know, all this uh, uh, accuracy. So now based on this, this so then we have this uh, data selection of draft function, you know, select this one, which is the most fair. Okay? So that then should give us a fair selection. So for fair selection, we might come up with another 80 data points, which is more fair. So now we, use, we train this again, and then this is going to converge. Okay. So, so then this iterative procedure essentially will go converge to, to the optimal solution. And we don't need too much iterations, and this gives us already very nice results. So now let's see what happens. So we first of all uh, compare with uh, uh, the, the best solver, the Groby, so see how, how our algorithms works. And you can see that we can increase, uh, we can improve time you know, by uh, thousands or thousand factor or hundred factor. You know, we can, and without sacrificing too much about the, the object function value. So, and uh, so now let's see uh, how, how we, we try this, you know, to different data set which is available online. So, and then let's, and we want to really want to see, right, how this works. And we compare with the best known uh, algorithms which is uh, available online. Online. So this is this data art and uh, so, and then we see that uh, you can see from fairness uh, and accuracy. So you know our algorithms uh, might not be able to sacrifice any 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 accuracy here. So so accuracy, you know, we are comparable compared to the uh, to the to the benchmark. But in, if you see the fairness measure, which means higher fair, so this also an unfairness measure. So higher. Higher percentage, which means uh, unfair. So we can really decrease this a lot. If you, you know, let's let's take a look at the this compass data set. We can see that we really drop this. Uh, we can de decrease this unfairness uh, by a factor of uh, like factor of ten. We decrease by you know uh, by almost you know ninety percent or of the of the uh, unfairness. And if you see this accuracy, we even can increase the fact uh, accuracy because you know we uh, we somehow you know select the most uh, reflected data, and those data set essentially you know help us to in improve the, um, the accuracy, right? So now we also try to the uh, try the model to apply the model to a fair deep learning model, and uh, and we could compare with the vanilla CNN. So so you know this is called convolutional neural network CNN. That's essentially a well-known deep learning model for the image processing or the the the, the image classification. And we find those uh, we apply to these data set which has some uh, sensitive feature. So you can see, in for this data set, the, the classification model problem is essentially quite quite difficult. So the, our accuracy is not that high; it's only uh, seven, around seventy percent. But you can see that you know, compared to the vanilla, uh, compared to this vanilla uh, C, uh, CNN, you know, we can we can improve the fairness measure. You know, this is so again high. High, uh, lower on fairness, this fairness score is uh, is better. So we can we can we can drop this real on fairness score by you know around you know ninety ninety uh, percent. So we can really or eighty percent. We can increase, so we can improve the fairness significantly. On the other hand, if you see this uh, prediction, sometimes you know we can even improve the fair. Uh, we can improve the accuracy. So this uh, this column FCN is our model and the VCN is the uh, the existing one. So usually, you know, not only uh, 
improve uh, the the fairness significantly, but also also you know uh, improve accuracy. So why we can improve accuracy? So the, somehow you know if you are familiar with machine learning, this essentially is a uh, has some uh, deep connection with the called drop out effect. So which means by dropping some scenarios or some data points or on the other hand, by by choosing the most representative data points, we are able to boost uh, boost the machine learning algorithms significantly. Okay. All right. So now, what's the, uh, this? Then we are going to conclude this talk. So in this uh, talk, we we talk about a uh, uh, fair machine learning, and in this, so what are we proposing? Is uh, we, you know adding this fairness measure to the machine learning models can not only improve this fairness or unfairness, but on the other hand, in many cases, it can also improve the accuracy. So the reason is we select the most important data points, and then you know so because of, because those data points essentially is a, is a, is not only fair but also accurate. On the other hand. So okay, so the, the, the both the software and the paper are already on, available online. So that's all I have, and thank you very much for your attention. Yes, yeah, so just to mention here, since you are computer science, so this, so you know, the implementation is most important in this uh, project. So, and there are some several, you know, packages already available online for the person, for the uh, for those machine learning. You know, you can find a lot of things. But if you want to add this additional, this feature called finish thing, uh, you have to. Uh, well, you have to de develop something on your own, but you know, in many many cases, we can we can use the, the existing package and then you know write a piece of code by your own, and then this this helps a lot. Yeah. I guess one question would be: a lot of the existing software does have some bias in it, specifically with like the criminal justice system. How do you go about convincing people to switch over to the more fair system, and how do you convince them that they're uh, system is it currently fair? Yeah, this is you know this is a very uh, yeah this is so this is a you know it's a very difficult one and uh, and uh, as you can see usually they are not very <clears throat> uh, willing you know to 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 change their system because they need to change a lot it's not, so they they already familiar with those so you know uh, one thing is a uh, you so so for example for the, this compass you know it has been already found by a lot of research you know this is a, a bias so you can try you can test their data and it's a, the, so the bias thing is a, well yeah but many cases right you might not be able to, even able to assess to their 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 approach right their their, their results yeah so well we trying to you know so you know like. A lot of company like Google, for example, or Amazon, you know, they are they are they are or Facebook, you know, they are trying to use this these uh, approaches to to help them to to make make this a better, uh, you know, better uh, machine learning outcomes. But but you are right, you know, this is a difficult yeah, in reality. All right. Well, um, thank you to everyone for coming today. Yeah, you have a lovely day. Yeah. You too. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.